Hey everyone, it's Michelle. As promised, I am playing catch up with my low by 2022 year. I'm starting off with my fall 2022 empties, the last of the empties of the year, and I'm shortly going to follow up with the last haul. Before we get into this video, I just want to let you all know I already decluttered all the skincare products. I did this before I took my last minute spontaneous one month trip to Canada. Just didn't want any garbage in my house while I was gone. So I'm going to do my best to post a photo right here of the product I am mentioning just so you have a visual of what I'm talking about. And I also have a photo of said products on my blog, as well as the list of products. So I'll leave a link to that down below as well. Having said that, let's get right into my last 2022 empties video. First set of products I'm sharing with you all are cleansers. The first one, the most notable one in my skincare collection for quite a while is the CeraVe Cream to Foam Cleanser. That one just did not want to empty out. I used it on my face, used it on my body day and night. It just lasted for such a long time. Having said that, it's a good bang for your buck if you're looking for a drugstore cleanser that is low pH, doesn't strip your skin of moisture, and does a pretty good job at removing a light amount of makeup and sunscreen. The second cleanser in my empties, I didn't necessarily empty it. It was just really old and I thought it was about time I discarded it. That is the Drunk Elephant Mini Bestie Number no. 9 Jelly Cleanser. That was part of the whole Sephora birthday gift. If that that gives you any idea of how old that product was. So I just needed to declutter it. Next set of products are two types of masks. So the first one is the Be Plain Bamboo Healing Mask. I used this product in my recovery skincare routine video when I skipped skincare for a long period of time when I was sick and my skin just needed a lot of TLC. That mask is just really nice to soothe, cool, and moisturize the skin. I particularly like using it in the summer months. The second type of mask were eye gel masks. It was the Derma E Vitamin C Bright Eyes Hydra Gel patches. I have only used those less than a handful of times because every time I use them, they actually irritated my skin. I put them on the back burner, completely forgot about them, and then when I found them again, it was just a little bit too old for my liking. It's not that the product looked or smelled bad, it's just that I did not want to put it on my face given one, how old they were, and two, the fact that the last time I used them, they actually irritated the skin underneath my eyes. So I thought I should just toss them. Next set of empties are serums from DCM. I have one from The Ordinary and two from Neod. The one from The Ordinary is their Buffet Serum. I did a full review of that as well as the Buffet Plus 1% Copper Peptides. If you're interested in checking that out, link up in the cards or in the description box down below. In short, a really nice hydrating serum and with consistent use, I notice a really nice brightening effect from it. Unfortunately, DCM decided to discontinue the Buffet Serum. They reformulated one to be the Buffet Plus Hyaluronic Acid from my understanding. I didn't take a look at the product page. In my opinion, it's a bit of a shame that they did that because a lot of people liked the Buffet as is, especially without hyaluronic acid. Either way, let me know in the comments down below what you think of the reformulation, whether or not it's worked for you or you really miss the original Buffet. I'd love to read about it. The next two serums that I emptied are from Neod. The first one is Neod's Modulating Glucosides. I think this is one of my favorite products from the line. It was just a lovely soothing barrier repairing antioxidant serum it smelled really good i really loved the texture of it and i noticed with continued use my skin just looked really nice and calm just less red in general out of anything i would repurchase from neod definitely modulating glucosides. The second Neod serum I emptied is their Survival Zero serum. It was actually my second bottle of Survival Zero because it was my go-to antioxidant serum when my skin was a little bit sensitive after CO2 Fraxel laser sessions and I couldn't use vitamin C on a consistent basis. Opted for the Neod Survival Zero and for the most part for the two bottles that I emptied out, it was very gentle, but if you saw in my Slovember video, I had an allergic reaction and I'm highly suspecting it is from that serum in particular. So I used this serum. I noticed my skin started to become itchy, getting red bumps all over my face. 
Never happened before with the other bottle of Neod Survival Zero that I used, but what I'm suspecting is that despite the second bottle only being open for less than six months, I think it's around four months I only had this bottle open, it may have gone bad and that's why I had a bad reaction on my face. Otherwise, again, it was my go-to antioxidant serum at a time when my skin was quite sensitive and my barrier was quite impaired from those laser sessions. Next Empty is one of the two NYX Rev de Miel lip moisturizing sticks. As I've mentioned in my haul video, I opted for the moisturizing sticks instead of the pot version. The moisturizing sticks are nice, they're doing the job, but I have to say I do miss the pot version of it. It just felt a little bit more luxurious to use. Next Empty is the COSRX Advanced Snail Peptide Eye Cream. Honestly, ever since I emptied slash broke a bottle of the Hyalamide Sub-Q Eyes, I feel like nothing has been the same around my eye area. Yes, the COSRX one smoothed my eye area. It made it feel soft. It wasn't moisturizing enough for my liking, and I just didn't get the same nice brightening effect that I did from Hyalamide Sub-Q Eyes. It wasn't worth purchasing such a small bottle of eye cream in that regard. I would probably do what Jude from 50 Shades of Snail does, which is use the big tub of the COSRX Advanced Snail 92 Soothing Cream. You know which one I'm talking about. I would probably get that one and use that underneath my eyes. That's exactly what she does. And I would say it's getting more bang for your buck just to get that whole tub, which you can use all over your face and neck instead of a little tube of eye cream. The last set of empties are sunscreen. Yes, I finally emptied out some sunscreen by the end of the year after going around maybe two empties videos without showing any of them. Like I said in a previous video, I had a bunch of sunscreens opened at once, so it did take a while to empty out one of them, but I finally did it and here's the list of them. So the first one is the Alta MD UV Elements Broad Spectrum SPF 44 Moisturizing Physical Sunscreen Tinted. Did a full review on this sunscreen and compared it to the Dermatology Physical Tinted Sunscreen, also SPF 44. Again, I'll leave a link to that up in the cards or in the description box down below. In short, it's one of the best physical tinted sunscreens I've come across in a long time. It has quite a shimmery, almost metallic-like finish. I would say that's the one big con about that sunscreen. Otherwise, when I was going through my three CO2 Fraxel laser sessions and then I eventually had to go out in public, I relied on that tinted sunscreen in particular to just even out my skin tone, cover up that redness, and make me look presentable. Next set of sunscreen empties are the Copper Tone Perfect UV Cut Gel Creams SPF 50 Plus PA 4 Plus. I also reviewed all three of those in a video. Again, link up above or in the description box down below. Like any Japanese sunscreen you may have tried, really lovely gel cream texture, cosmetically elegant, very easy to apply and reapply. Unfortunately, this set of sunscreens were Japan exclusives. The only reason I got them was because my friends picked it up for me on their trip to Tokyo. And second, they've been discontinued anyways. But if you check out the review of these sunscreens, I did leave links to alternatives in the description box down below, as well as my blog post. And the last sunscreen plus final empty of 2022 is Purito's Daily Go-To Sunscreen SPF 50 Plus PA4+. Plus. I already did a full review of this sunscreen as well, which I will link up in the cards or in the description box down below for you to check out. Despite it being a cosmetically elegant sunscreen, it worked for my skin for the most part. I personally would not go back to Purito as a brand in general. I touch upon this in that review video and I'm sure a lot of you know why. If not, again, check out my review in the description box down below. That is it for the fall 2022 skincare empties, the last of my skincare empties for the year of 2022. As always, I hope you find content like this helpful and informative. If you did, please be sure to give the video a like, subscribe to my channel down below for future videos. If you're curious about some of the products I mentioned today, I'll be sure to link the full reviews in the description box down below. That is it. See you all soon. Ciao.